what is up legends we are back and uh, we are back in the star seed um so the crazy enough we get two videos today um we'll do how to start strong because i got bad dms for this game i get dms but usually not as much as i do for this game i think i'm the only one actually playing deep right now people have done videos and stuff like this but nobody's actually playing deep um and what that means is basically actually playing it so I guess I gotta answer a lot of this stuff. So, somebody actually asked me like five minutes ago before I decided to actually do this because I wasn't gonna do it right away. Uh, I was gonna wait, but he was like, "Dog, you're like level 20. What the hell?" And then he's looking at my team. He was like, "Are you are you paying?" And I'm like, "I'm not paying, dog." And then he was like, "Yeah, you wasted dupes." So I'm I'm gonna talk about that. And it's not as big a deal as what people were thinking. <laughs> well, especially with uh, with Sia, the it's really not a big deal with Sia, but we're going to get to that. So pretty much this is how to start strong. And the key to all of this that I am saying right now, um, and it works with this with a lot of games, is your tank. If your tank dies in this game, you're done. It doesn't matter what DPS you got. It don't matter what build you try to do. It don't matter what you tried to put out there. If your tank is dead, that's it. So you have to pick a tank that you like. And that tank has to be the carry. It has to be the carry. It's the most important thing that you have right now. And if you're not doing that, you ain't doing it right. Just let you know right off the bat. You're just doing the game harder than it has to be. So obviously I picked um, Lillian, uh, as you guys saw in the last video, the reason why is because she can go anywhere on the field with her special and she stops people from attacking or enemies and in general, which is just amazing. You don't necessarily have to do that. In fact, it's actually easier to use Ambrosia because Ambrosia dupes a lot because she's in the normal banner over here. So just um, let you guys know. She comes out a lot. She comes out a lot in this banner. I don't know. I don't know. It could just be my luck, but she is right there, right on the right hand side. And you can keep her in the wish list as well if you want to um but for me she came out a lot so it might just necessarily be just luck for me but in a sense like i can actually like you know get her to ur as a tank and that would be a little bit better um but she's more stationary than lillian lillian i find more use because if i get backlined which happens a lot including in that 5-8 stage i can make lillian dive bomb back over to help out my range of dps and my healer in case something decides to backline me which is why i like her better including uh, you know, obviously dark skin wife who got the gold eyes going on and everything else like that baddie too uh, i must explain the baddie like got baddie too like you i must must be explained so you know you know back to this because it's not as blinding as the other one is i i throw that out there when i want to every once in a while um but this scene is, is kind of neutral doesn't do anything so now that you know that let's talk about again it doesn't have to be lillian it's whoever you want it to actually be this game is very um free-flowing when it comes to that uh, it could be any tank that you like that you um want to put out there but your tank has to be the carry 100 percent. you have to spoil that character that character must get, must get the skills up as you can see right here must actually get spoiled when it comes to the plug-in you gotta make sure that you have your plug-in um level it to a decent make sure that you're leveling the gear make sure that you get it in a dupe now for me i'm getting gypped because she actually is you know um in the banner as a wish list but she's just not coming out so it just kind of like is what it is um but definitely want to go ahead and actually do that which allows you to put on your your helmet and your ur right there uh, for the most part, case what you want to do is you want to get every character to you are so it opens up the full level of gear then you can go from there and figure out what you're gonna do from there but for for the most part I, I what i'm trying to do is focus on getting everybody to the point of um you are so all their gears open now as far as gearing 
what I would suggest is as you are getting gear, the characters that you are using and that you want to bring in, make sure that they all have SR gear. It's not that hard to actually do because the gear is spread out through various things in the game, which we'll get to a little bit later on in this guide. Um, but we make sure that you spread it out and that everybody who's in your starting five, that you level them after you spread your gear out, only after, um, because you're going to need to put the gear in other places. Also keep in mind that the things that actually level gear is usually the gear themselves and i believe there's an item for that but it's very scarce right now we don't have a lot of areas to actually get that but you want to make sure that you at least are for all the characters that you are using that you at least put one on them at least one i wouldn't do more than that because you're going to need to put gear on other characters and you're going to need to actually put to make sure you get plus one on everything now when you end when you end up getting another tier because gear has tiers the same way that the characters do like you see like this this is a has a sr1 right there you know make sure that um every time you go up on one even if you upgrade the gear it's actually still stronger when you go up to the next level so just rotate that gear down to somebody else don't use it as food um, because it is easier just to rotate it down. Now, if you don't have nobody to rotate it down to out of all the characters you're using, then you can use it as food to level up <clears throat> other gear. It's up to you if you want to actually do that. Um, but for the most part, you should be good to go when it comes to that. And that goes the same thing when it comes to your plugin. Uh, most plugins, you should try to get them to five. After five, it's hella expensive. I don't think they actually balance that uh, because it, it, this, it like damn near triples as far as the price and the currency that you need out of the dungeons it is kind of ridiculous like i said i don't think that they actually balance that but for the most part you want to try to get everybody to five that you are using only have see you up to two right now and i have dupes for reha so we'll actually talk about that in a second um, and she's up to you are as far as that, but I haven't actually leveled her yet because I'm just been going down the line um, You know my two important characters right here that are these two Which leads me to the next thing before we talk about the plugins Um, the next thing that you want to have is your DPS carry your DPS carry is um, whatever unit you find do that does a bunch of damage Patricia does a bunch of damage. I, I don't <laughs> Like I like she's crazy if you are using a DPS right now, just even put base form. Like if you just have like one version of Patricia, just put it out there, trust me. Put it out there and try her. And you're like, what the hell? Like what? She's an AOE unit that does like single target damage like crazy. I don't I don't know what's going on with this unit that she do that much, but that's my DPS carry. So she's the second one, as you can see up there, as far as low. She's gonna be the next one to get to 70. And then what I do is I bring the other three characters along i like that um sia is um here because she's decent uh <clears throat> for the most part and she's probably going to be the first character to actually get maxed out rarity because it's just so easy to actually do that and um rayhal is ridiculous because she aoe heals she heals over time and she resurrects and she has a passive at resurrect so if you even even just getting her at ssr just normal base is fine because she can carry uh and then yuna because she can basically give herself dodge and heal so and she's a she's a, she's a real self-sufficient unit that um that could survive she's like a um a good dps and she's actually my second dps um she doesn't lag that far behind patricia um but she's not an aoe like that that's why she doesn't really get up there but she's like having a tank that's not a tank that actually does like some decent dps um and she has the ability so you heard she kind of does like the same thing um she has a lot of movement so i can use all of her stuff basically you see like they ignore defense and stuff like this she's really good single target i can use her the same way I use um, Lillian to dive bomb, basically, and and this kind of like if I, if I, if something happens, the AI does it too. 
without me actually doing it sometimes. Like if the AI, the AI will literally see me get back on and both Lillian and, and Yuna will dive back. Even if they have mobs on them and drag all the mobs together, which helps out Patricia, the AOE things down as well. And helps out a little bit with, um, you know, dragging things in and making it more useful overall for our Sia because she has a little bit of AOE as well. So now plug in. We're going to head over to recruit real quick. Something that you should do with plugins is make sure that whoever is your starting five, that that is what your wish list is. As you can see right there, my starting five is the wish list, and you want to make sure that you are focusing on them because that is what's going to make you essentially um, build up the plugins faster. Like I said, um, like you saw, I have one that's a that's your level right now because he just keeps coming out. It's just a matter of luck. It, it's just. It's, it's going to end up that way, but you want to make sure that you focus on that and make it so that you can actually, you know, rock out and do things. Now, as far as I'm um, going in, you see, I'm on, I think it's 741. Yeah, I'm on 741. Um, I'm at the point right now where I'm starting to get left behind. So even if I do manage to like win this fight, which I think I can, you see, I'm like literally like 11K down right now. Um, I can actually pull this fight out. I get worn down, but that's not the point of this. Um, what you want to do is you want to focus on your strengths and your weaknesses. Um, I know that Lillian can kind of take care of herself. So when it comes to the tactics, I don't really need to focus on keeping her alive, which if, it's, if I didn't think that she could keep herself alive or she's taking too much damage, then I will go dog fight, but she can keep herself alive. That's not what's killing me in this fight. What's killing me in this fight is I don't do enough damage to take them out before I get taken out. The fight's taking too long. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily go for whoever it is that I need to get damaged. Now I know Patricia is going to do well by herself. So I don't really need to do um, help to Patricia. And then on top of that, I have Rahal in the back who's not really a DPS. Anyway. So I don't need anything on the back and I don't need anything on the front. So I need to focus on the middle right now and make my two middle units do more damage and help them, which is what I have lightning strike on, but I'm still lacking in DPS for this for the most part. So this is where you would just end up idling. Um, usually what happens in games like this is when the game gets to the point of usually around nine to 10 K behind you, it's like you get a penalty. Basically it's not shown. And majority of the time these games don't show it, but I can tell you from the back end, um, you know, making games like this, that the system itself has things in place that if you are behind too far in power, the um the system will automatically make you weaker, basically. Um and then multiple games do this type of stuff and I had people it's not like that. It's a matter of numbers. It's just a matter of numbers that they get. the system will say, you are way too far behind. How did you even get to this stage? You're not winning, basically. Unless you have something that supersedes those numbers. Like if you have dodge or something like that, or a crazy defense or some type of skill that'll negate like damage or something like that, which is part of what's happening right now. Like I, I've been, for the most part, I've been dive bobbing with my two characters and knock enemies out of stuff. And then that allowed Patricia to kill stuff. And then Rahal, even if I lose somebody, she'll heal them and resurrect them and stuff like that. That supersedes that and gets rid of that penalty. But right now, I'm in that penalty right now. Like, it's obvious. Like, the minute that I start this fight, I start getting hit really hard. Um, obviously, and I'm, like, I'm levels behind right now anyway. So, it, it just is what it is. You just have to idle at this point. I, I, I bet as soon as I get to um 56k i'll win basically and i like i won't get hit as hard i won't like and it not that much will be even that much different but that's just how these systems work and um you know going forward so just keep that in mind that you really can't let yourself get too far behind and the power scale before the game system will just start penalizing you for that and saying like go idle go get good that type of stuff so keep that in mind next up there is a rotation that you should go through, which this is a good seg um, segment. 
you go from operation and when you see that start to happen what you end up doing is you head over to data tower now over in data tower will start to help you it's kind of like a manual auto and i'm at the same point now with data tower 2 where the stuff is starting to scale higher than me where i can actually start to win but <clears throat> the purpose of what i'm talking about right now is that when you feel yourself stuck in operation head over to data tower and then go as far as you can in data tower now eventually what happens as you get far enough in the story you can start to auto and you can start to auto um challenge basically where it'll just keep progressively challenging without you until you lose or you unlock something when you unlock something in the game it officially says okay um but you need to acknowledge this and it'll stop but for the most part it'll you know keep going through there and you just keep rotating back and forth um until you get the power over that you need to keep progression into operation and also keep in mind that you can actually do other things like some training right here will actually allow you to um as you do training you get more currency supply search will actually help you out this is where you look, limit break your skills and plugin boost obviously is what it sounds like um this is what levels up your pro your plugins you want to get as far as you can do these last at the end of the day um because you want to try to go as far as you can go basically to get the most benefit out of this and make sure that you get three stars in all these stages of core analysis which i can't show you right now because for the most part um why well, I, I could let me show you this one hi yeah, 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 yeah. stop it <gasps> and i didn't open this one but but essentially what happens here is you can actually come in and get these analysis which will actually help you later on when it comes to um open up a different slot i mean a different thing that's over in asnia which i was going to get to that but i decided to come over here anyway um but you definitely want to make sure that you do these and knock these out i'll eventually do this later on um i thought i i guess i forgot because i didn't open up the blue one but open up the other ones but as you can see going through it literally just says what it opens right here and you decide out of the elements on um, what's more beneficial for you to actually open all right uh let me show it make sure we're back we're using i got a network error um it's been happening today i don't know why um hopefully it doesn't happen again let, let, can, can you let me finish the video star c damn uh <laughs> i broke my chain of thought and everything so we are on special ops Special Ops is interesting now, and it's actually fun because you have to go in and you have to elemental counter these bosses. You can't use your same team for everything. In fact, I'm stuck on this one because I don't have enough blue elements to actually fight this boss. It's just like my tank is the elemental disadvantage um, and my red tank don't live long enough for this. So I had to do one of two things. I had to get a blue tank, basically just stand in here with Lillian um or a blue healer to kind of sustain them to, to give them um a better chance to live long enough so my dps can kill him he has two phases of uh, and he's gonna throw out a shield that basically heals him and essentially i'm just not I'm just not strong enough to do this even though i'm like 5k stronger um i'm at elemental disadvantage which is unfortunate so this is what it is but it's cool because what it does is it just allows you just to come in and kind of like you know counter these bosses for the most part and it's pretty much the stage bosses that you um that you fight for the um for the most part you get to um fight them and then they, they get to tear up when you get to the clear level five you get a ssr proxy ticket which is random and you get a proxy and then sometimes maybe you'll get something that you don't have so you see i've done up to step six right here step to four on that one I need the elemental counter this one um at step six this is i just got all the way to six before i had to finally um worry about being an elemental counter four here three here so you see like it's freaking getting harder as i go down for the most part <laughs> um but yeah you eventually you'd be able to do all that and you have world raid which is no boss yet as you guys can see and then domination is at 10-1 when we finally get there 
and um bulk sweep is i don't have anything up right now but if you actually do that it'll you know sweep all the stuff that you haven't done yet that you can sweep and yeah so unfortunately um we got kicked so that kind of like messed up my flow a little bit all right so let's talk about dupes as people saw last video, what I did uh, with Sia is I used her to actually, you know, limit break herself. So here's the rule when it comes to actually uh, limit breaking in this game. Um, if they're at base, which, as you can see, this is what's considered base when they're like UR, SR, um, I guess there's MR too. Um, when they're at base, you need themselves to break over into the plus one when they're at plus one we'll take her out say like ambrosia then you can use anybody as long as it's the same element you see right here i have a, um a sherry which we'll do right now because i need to um, make her a go up to ur anyway um both sherry and siege are normal um sr unit only use that don't use the ssrs unless you just don't care about them but i wouldn't do that anyway <clears throat> but obviously she's my backup tank and that unlocks her gloves and then you know no boom so now she's there and you see she's flat going from here you can't do anything with her right now um that's just how it is um so you see like all the srs right there what you want to do is you want to um build them for the most part now for her as you can see right here we um i can only use herself now the reason why i don't really care that much about see is that she's so easy to get and she comes out so much so even though i did that last time it's just like eh, anybody else i would care a whole lot hell of a more because they're harder to get but not to see i'm like whatever <laughs> like bro whatever all right and um now as you can see she's just going now um I will have to build green element units and get them to a point so I can actually build her. So you see, now I need um, a UR1. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be her, it needs to be a green UR1. Um, so now with these units over here, what I can do like, like Mana, Diana and all them like this, I can start building them up to that point. Um, Patricia, uh, is, uh, Patricia needs herself basically to be, um, we've seen these S1, she needs an S1 of herself, SSR1 basically, I think you need, um, an SSR1 of herself basically at, you know, as you are, so you kind of get like the, the gist of that, and now from here we just, I'm just not even gonna do that because I can just keep doing that, uh, bam, bring her over into SSR these are all SR ones um, so we just want to build them up to when it's like the the babies is this okay what we're looking for is we're trying to get farther okay so now she's like that and this is going to bring this into SSR1. So now I have a, a blue copy of Burn Her Old SSR1. Which we're just going to leave that. So that's going to be useful. Not for her. In general. But we, we, need, um, we need her. When she gets to UR1. Then I could use that Burn Hold on that. Uh, we want a green over here, so we need to build. We need to build green up. Not that hard to do any of these. Then we have um, both of them together. As you can see, all you need is a green the SSR. Um, it kind of doesn't. When it comes to the SRs, it, it kind of doesn't matter as long as you get to that because you're not trying to specifically go after any of these you're just trying to build them 
and get them to the point so they can be used on the SSRs. All right, so she's SSR one and you're gonna get them back anyway. So what I do in general is I'm just literally just trying to get there. And you see now we have her up to UR. We do not want to use Leia. Why is Leia not locked? Get out the way, lady. Make sure they're locked. Oh, I know why they're not. Because I took them out of the thing. When, it, when, it, when you take them out of the thing, it, it unlocks them. Um, but yeah, that's what happens. They were they were in um level sync. Okay, back in. We can start working on siege now. And I think that's it as far as um what I can actually do. You see, we um we don't want to do that because Leia's back up. So now with Sia, we need a UR one green. So now I have to keep continuing to push those those URs up, those green URs, which goes into summoning and all that type of stuff. But you kind of like get the gist of it. It's up to you. If you um want to be more conservative, conservative is piecing together it all and and waiting for the individual parts and say like if you get like a sr let's go down to an sr like bam and then waiting for the next sr or just using them all together like that um because they give you so much of it that you know you just try to piece together what you can piece together at that point but eventually you get conservative towards the end but i ain't got time for that so it's up to you if you want to do that um Light and dark units, though, are off limits, and you can usually tell what your light and dark units are because they glow differently than everybody else. Um, you want to treat them as gold, basically. They are very hard to get. You see, I only have two. Mia's actually kind of good because she stuns, so she's very good in PvP. And you guys already saw how good Ray how are. They need themselves and they should be treated as gold. Don't do it, don't do anything else with them besides you know, like you know, wait for the, their pieces to come and build them and, and treat them sparingly because you ain't gonna get a lot of them. They are available basically right here. But I've summoned a lot and have not gotten them between both these banners that's something a lot and only got one of each um, character so you know it, it, they don't come out a lot uh <clears throat> asnia all right so on the left here your dispatch center i want you to be careful with this this is expensive look at how much it costs to upgrade this 140k dog same thing over here. Six, like that's all the gold I got right now. Before an increase of five percent, or the, no, <laughs> like this one's not even open yet. But look how much that cost. That's that's sanity. Be careful with that. On the right hand side is where you can actually start sending out and what the left hand side is upgrading is upgrading all this type of stuff which this is all very useful but i would worry about this last worry about your team worry about your characters everything else like that um this is up to you or uh, what what do you feel is more important to you to actually push forward get get you a free um proxy um summon operation time up the hour which i'm probably gonna um <clears throat> start putting points into put into this because operation time is actually pretty good quick operation attempts you get more 
and the upgrade for that to make it further is 11:30. Same thing over here with battle. You can actually go in here and start getting free attempts on that, and then you know, the loot and everything else like that. Oh, this here, Star Seed Lab. This literally is you're gonna get these spar uh, sporadically through doing missions, and uh, this gives you account scaling. And what that basically means is anything, it's a multipliers on top of what, what you would normally get for characters and stuff like this. And this is universal. Um, you're going to just go down the line and then eventually when you get to the end, you see, like it says, upgrade available. I don't have any more of these. Um, that's what that other thing is for to actually, that I showed you earlier, to start to pick these up. You also get them in stages. So just pay attention to this and do on um, the stages when you can. It gets you account scaling. It, it works out on the long run and just helps you get stronger. Academy. Um, so every character can get two badges. All right. Um, and we'll use, we'll use Leia because we need to actually get her some badges too. So you pick the character and you can pick slot one or slot two and we hit enroll. So Layla is a DPS and I want to have some sustain. So we're going to do this. Now, if you do more than one time, it's going to have a negative effect, which lowers the opportunity for you to actually get a really good badge. So just keep that in mind. If you do, if you use all three, then you might get a badge from all three. But I want to rock with this one right now because it kind of works out. You can hit auto right here and the game will adjust around you and give you the best possible with the people that will work out with her. You can pick it on your own, but just do this. It doesn't matter. Um, so 12% chance of the increase rate and then you see everything else right here. So we hit selected. Now you can watch it if you want. We got you are already off the bat. I'm taking it. <laughs> like it, it's not easy to get that off the bat. Now there's there's MR badges too, but we gonna take this UR one right away. All right. So um so now she got the UR right off the bat, which is good for her because she can get attack and evasion. So we're gonna roll again. So I'm a I'm a flat do this knowing that it's going to give me a chance of not getting good stuff so we got 15 percent increased rate on that we got our s in the first one and we got superior battle boost now this is actually pretty good <clears throat> but it's an ssr so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to take it and, and put it in lot two. And we're gonna go in one more time. We wanna replace this. So I'll use all three this time. Which gives you an increased chance of getting any of the three badges and the three things. All right, we got S in the middle. We've got attack speed, walk efficiency, HP, Try again. Discard. Try again. Now you notice that we have tickets up there on the left. You get them from various things. That's as large as you see. You see me doing all three. It's really not going that well. Which is why I did it the way I did it earlier. I mean, that's universal, but nah, he's supposed to be DPS. No, oh, this is just getting worse. There we go. Two attack. Perfect. I don't know why it it does that because it looks like it penalizes you or it wants to penalize you for doing that but it seems like this works out better um no it kind of is what it is um, i guess i got mr from this as well so uh we're going to let me replace this one 
right um so i want to replace this right here because it did not end up the way i wanted it to so we want to do this this See what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know, yo. Oh, I thought I did both. All right, so you, I need to actually get you another one. All right, so I'm actually going to do the reverse this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go defense, defense, and then HP. All right, perfect. And I need to do Aaron, but we're not gonna do anymore because you guys kind of get the the use of that. All right, um, so the other thing that you want to pay attention to is um your level sync. No, obviously, um, my sink is um, stuck right now at 60. It's because I need more of these, and they they come along when they when they come along. Essentially, what you want to um, also do is you everybody that you get coming in, you want to make sure that you get them gear, and that you have the ability to actually counter things. Um, I do have like a blue tank right here, which you don't have any gear on right now because I just recently got this character. Um, and that's, you know, I got no blue units and so we got blue units and stuff like that. Um, so they actually count on that stage. I am going to just have to get them gear, which this takes over time, which we're going to talk about that in a second, but you want to make sure that you level evenly so you can actually use these characters as counters for when you need to elemental counter stuff, because if you just level unevenly, all the time then you just won't even have anybody though at a good level now the game stops you you have to actually um for me to be level 70 i need to have a um a level sink of 60. like it won't even go as high as that without that so just keep that in mind that you can never go any any higher than 10 above whatever the um the group level is so but still you want to keep pushing them up um for the most part what I do is I still try to overstack with my uh, my tank carry my DPS, which is why Patricia and Lillian are where they're at. And then I'm just going to bring up the other three. So all the rest of these characters start to catch up. And it just, you know, it kind of just helps you over the course of time. Um, if you want to swap in between them, you hit core swap and then you can kind of just go in between. You don't have to actually take them in and out. But be aware that sometimes it unlocks them, which is why I had some characters unlocked before so just keep that in mind next up shop so i haven't actually wailed or anything in this um but this is just my suggestions if you um, want to do it i haven't i haven't even spent the dollar not a, not a single dollar they have the double right now the double um currency so it's up to you if you want to actually do that um it's usually a good point of actually doing that you have your monthly perks which you just want to pick something up you can rock it out you have your starter stuff which is actually um not bad have um the see a pickup as well if you just want to focus on her if you really like her i wouldn't she's cool and a good dps and everything else like this but she don't carry this is this my my opinion and all that stage stuff is always useful um to give you currency and everything else like just like that or so it's up to you if you want to you know go through with that and you have the battle passes which is over here which if i was going to do one um do the battle pass that gives you the the most exp which will probably be this one because they usually always end up stuck. I always end up stuck waiting for EXP for the majority, like the majority of the time. So that's. Oh, we got some, got some nice for badges. I'll take it. So, yeah, in the other shop. 
Yeah, I do apologize if, if this is long. Um, however, people do like this and want to see this, and it's not um like I said in the 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 original hype impressions. Like the one guy was like, guys like to see combat. I'll have you know, that is not true. Because what do you end up doing with the combat? You end up usually cutting it off or ordering it and then going to look at something else. People just want to see if the combat looks cool and then they're done after that. Like, Does the fight look good? Do the characters look good? It takes a minute. That's it. Majority of the time, people want to know how to play a game. Um, and that's why those videos do well. That's why that video has 10,000 views now and going on 400 likes with barely any combat shown in it because people want to see that <laughs> they want to know how to play the game and how the game runs and they're going to probably want to see this too this might end up being the same type of views who knows i never know on youtube anymore what's going to be popping what's not going to be popular as far as um views but i do know generally what people want to see for the most part and they just want to see how to play the game majority of time so shop right here um Make sure that you take advantage of the fact that you have a good deal of currency. You see my currency up here. Don't go crazy summoning all the time. The game gives you so much summons that your currency is, which is the next point. So we're just going to combine them together. They give you so much currency that you get the freedom to actually go into these shops and kind of like refresh and do what you want. So if you have the, the point like where you need like gold or something like that, or not gold, if you need EXP and you got the coin to actually, I don't, but you got the coin to actually do that and refresh, you can. Luxurious gift, I actually need this, so I'm going to do that. Because like, like the game gives me so much currency. Um, gear energy chipset, need that too. That levels up your gear. And then I can just hit... And this doesn't even bother me because I get so much. And so now we're back over here. I need this. Give me this. I need that. I need a Sensing Master. I am not spending gold for that, though. And now we're here down the gear. Now, remember, I need a certain amount of gear for characters. And you need to pay attention to what these are. So I have... This is for Defender. So I actually need this. This is for support. Support shoes. Do I need it? Support, um, this is another gear thing to level up your gear. So we're going to take that. And then I can do it again. I wouldn't do it for 300 though. But twice is fine. Over here the terror shop. Um, proxy and symbols. Um, which would just allow me to actually random out if I want to. Um, you can actually use this to go in and get pieces so you can easily dupe or you can dupe easier. Um, but I actually want that and hope it turned into something interesting. Anyway, you have the guild store, which you can use the guild points again if, if I need something. I don't know. See, we needed this because... And see, that's an upgrade on her. She's fine as far as um, gloves. I, I need a hat and gloves for her. You're fine. You need a hat. Um, Where is my blue tank? There she is. All right, so we just need boots for her. And we already got her plug-in. Um, these are boot. This is Packer. Not helping. Again, I'm I already refreshed today, so I'm not gonna do that 200 again. Defender glove. I mean, shirt. We don't need that. I don't actually need any of this, so we can just leave that alone. Supply shop now. Um. That gold worth it. Basic dispatch. I'll do this because it doesn't cost me gold. 
And then we have arena over here, which is enrollment tickets. We don't need any of those. Um, I could just save for the proxy and up here that, but this, like, that's a lot, dog. Like, I don't think they balanced this. Why the hell is this 29,000? And then you got the costume shop right here. And we're at the end now. That, that, that was a lot of talking. My throat hurt. <laughs> um, let's see if we have anything in here useful. Let's do that. Bam. We got this one boss running. So we're going to see what we get here. It's blue. Definitely need blues. Damn, man. Is she new? I don't think she's new. Anyway, we have this too because we just went ahead and did that. Let's see what this turns into. A green. Oh, okay. That's useful. And we just have these, so I can just, whatever. Yeah, SR. And then we have that to snatch up too. And then we'll go summon. And then we'll get out of here. Oh, I didn't have Erica. Cool. All right, so um, plugins, we don't have any because I've been using though. We can friendship recruit though. Uh, ooh, 21 tickets. I didn't even know I had that many, really. Um, and we're going to be right there to get new stuff. Um, in the green, in the green extraction store. Let's see, what, like, bro, can I have one of the darkness or light units? Is that possible? No, it's not possible. Action real quick. Oh snap. Perfect. I'm gonna pick Lillian. Um wait, it didn't say select. Oh there we go. I'm about to say. Don't jit me now. The game don't want to give me her. Do it myself. <laughs> like, damn, man. All right, so now that I did that, can I just force it? Oh, I need two. One is already locked, but I might want to keep it locked and use the other one. That's fine. All right, so we do have, when did I get 15? Oh yeah, I just got five. All right, let's see what happens here. I'll use a little bit of currency on this. Yeah, I'll use the five here. What's in gold extraction? I actually didn't look. I bet you she just came out again here. This is why I didn't 
like dude, like you use that like people were freaking out i'm like bro you be serious <laughs> like, like this girl came out like 20 times already don't get out of here yeah, yeah, come on. The dancing is funny. Another one, as Khaled would say. Um, what's in here? Well, they have selects in here too. Who else do I need? Patricia's fine. She is on her way. We just got Lillian. Um, yeah, I need Rayo and Yuna. So Yuna, I'll pick Yuna next because this they're not gonna give me a um a light dark selector. So we'll, we'll pick Yuna next. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you understand. Hopefully you be chilling. Um, I I really be just chilling this game. I I just have fun and just do what I gotta do and keep it moving. I should rub my belly. Is she pregnant? Hey yo, why she look at this like that? I just noticed that. The hell? Hey, you getting off the screen. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love everybody who stops by. You guys always make my day with your comments. It's always funny and women's school and gives me a reason to keep going. So be legendary and I will see you guys soon. Peace.